Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini My Team Grand Mode here today for about 54 for the British Grand Prix as you can see we're having a wet British Grand Prix typical British summertime and this is the grid so we've got another pole position and we're alongside a Valtteri Bottas in his Red Bull then it's Lando Norris and George Russell Lewis Hamilton and Carlos Sainz Yuki Tsunoda and Max Verstappen and it's Ocon and Joe rounding out the top 10 then it's Gasly and Leclerc Piastri and Fittipaldi Stroll and Liam Lawson then it's Halga and Teo Pacher Alex Albon and Logan Sargent and on the final row of the grid is the two houses headed by Nick De Vries so we're here on the grid then ahead Head of my home Grand Prix here at Silverstone it's going to rain pretty much the entire Grand Prix your typical British summertime because it wouldn't be a race weekend here at Silverstone without some rain this is our qualifying lap then coming to the end through the Vale chicane it was good enough to put it on pole position we found half a second on that last lap to put us on pole position I feel like after what happened here last season when we had that big pile up on the hangar straight and then being spun round by Max Verstappen it's time to right some wrongs this season can we make it six in a row and we're racing here at Silverson we've got a good start we're straight up to cover off Valtteri Bottas in his Red Bull we lead them into turn one Free farm carbon out into the village. We're going to cover off the inside line. We're going to try and find any grip we have as we have a big oversteer moment lighting up the rear tyres. Now, as we just try and get out the loop and through entry and on to the Wellington Strait. With our bottoms trying to look to the outside, we cover off the inside line into Brooklyn and now into Luffield we go very very wide at Luffield and now Bottas maybe has a chance on a look at the inside he's a little bit too far back and now though through Maggots and Beckers and Chapel at the end of the first lap we've fallen a bit wide and now Bottas can see a chance to take the lead of the British Grand Prix so does Lando Norris so Bottas on the outside Lando gets into Bottas' slipstream we run wide Bottas has done the switch back on us but he backs out of it because he has the aggression of a plastic bag and we keep the lead here at Silverstone there's quite a big train behind us as we go on to lap 2 of the British Grand Prix now free Abbey, free farm and now look at Lando Norris, Lando Norris is going at Valtteri Bottas round the, outside, round the outside and I think he's got the job done he's going to hang Bottas out to dry round the outside and Lando Norris takes P2 in the British Grand Prix and now behind George Russell might be having a look in his Mercedes but he's too far back to do anything and now Lando Norris might be like li eyeing up the lead of the Grand Prix as he goes to the outside of us the crowd don't really know who to cheer here but we fend off the inside line as George Russell goes round the outside of Valtteri Bottas Lewis Hamilton waiting in the wings as well Bottas has slipped down to P4 and it's an all British 1, 2, 3 here at Silverstone as we come to the end of lap 3 and on to lap 4 so now George is going at Lando Norris trying to go to the outside now to the inside at the loop and Lando's going to be hanging out to dry areas yes look George he has got the job done and he's up to P2 here at Silverstone the Lando's not having any of that but I think he's too far back to do anything and he is and that's actually allowed us to pull a small gap but only for half a lap because George Russell back on the back of us now as we go down the hangar straight he's in the tyre tracks is he going to go to the inside or the outside he's too far back at the minute as Bottas is going back at Lando Norris there up the inside we run a bit wide George is now having a look to the outside but this is on the outside of Lando Norris trying to find a way through and Norris on the outside but has the inside line who's going to get the traction it looks like it's going to be Lando Norris 
the free ride nearly in the background as there's Lewis Hamilton who's coming under pressure from lap 6 now and George is all over the back of us as we head into Luffield then we'll run a little bit wide George is going to look down the inside it went wrong there last season between us and Max Verstappen this time though George isn't as far as alongside as Max was that day and has to back out of it but now three cops we go We've ran a bit wide there, and George has chopped him off big time there, going through Maggots and Beckett's. Before we get to Maggots and Beckett's even. That was a bit naughty there, but now George all over the back of us now as we head down. And the hammer straight, but he's being done by Valtteri Bottas. Bottas coming back at the Mercedes. He did Lando Norris a couple of laps ago and now he's trying to get past and overtake George Russell and he has so lap 9 now and Bottas are going up the inside of us as we go into Village and Lando Norris has got past George Russell and he's just done factory Bottas round the outside what a move there by Lando Norris and now he's trying to get up the inside of us but he's too far back to do anything and now Bottas coming under pressure from George Russell and in the background is Lewis Hamilton still waiting in the wings round the outside tries to go and George Russell is on the inside of Bottas as we go through Luffield as we run wide Bottas was nearly up the inside of us there Lando was nearly up the inside of us and now though Georgia has re overtaken Valtteri Bottas the British 1, 2, 3 as we run wide going through Cobbs and now Lando Norris is ahead of us and takes the lead of the British Grand Prix but we're going to cut cutting back up the inside through Maris and Beckett to retake the lead and now look at the trolley train behind us as we head down the hangar straight then we're all out for the back is Lando Norris on us as Lando tries to go to the outside he has to back out of the, up the inside try to go George as we run wide and out then to a side by side as we head into the Vale chicane, we run very, very deep there. That's going to lead us to be a sitting duck and from Lando Norris. As we cross the line to go on to lap 10, as Mark Ross is the pit at the end of the lap. As we go through Abbey and our free farm curve, and the engine's red. The engine has popped here at Silverstone. We won't be pitting at the end of this lap because we're pulling over to retire from the British Grand Prix and that ends the run of wins we will not get to Sebastian Vettel's record breaking 9 we finish on 5 and that's our first okay, DNF push, push. of the, the season behind. That's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. Tell me, Anne, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, they clearly have a car that comes alive in the kind of conditions we were dealing with today. It's a very balanced package in the wet, and what that means is that the drivers have confidence to attack, and having that confidence gets you on the power earlier, it lets you brake later, and can put you a long way up the road. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So that's been your British Grand Prix then, a British 1-2-3 and a Mercedes 1-2 and our first non-win of the season ends with a retirement. I really wanted to right some wrongs of last season but the engine popping means we will not 
getting close to Sebastian Vettel with nine wins in a row. We tried our hardest. We did five, but it's all over here at our home Grand Prix. Also, Charles Leclerc, the other retirement. This is what went then. It was the MJ UK that decided to fail on us. This is then the Drivers World Championship. Our lead has been cut down quite a bit then. 56 points is the gap now to Lewis Hamilton, who's now jumped Max Verstappen in the World Championships. Is Hamilton's looking to hunt us down and get his eighth world title possibly this season. We're fast approaching the halfway stage of the season and it's looking good for us so far, but this is Formula One and anything can happen. Piastri also P5 in the Drivers' Championship as well. And down at the back, I feel like I say this in every video, but there's still many drivers still yet to score this season. So in terms of constructors then, our lead has been sliced big time with that Mercedes 1-2. The gap now 43 points in the World Championships. If we have another weekend like that, it could well be closer. The big margin could very easily slip away in the constructors. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the British Grand Prix. Ends in disappointment for us. We weren't able to right the wrongs of last season and also get another win at my home Grand Prix and also ending our run of wins in a row. Go to Pool Card next for the first time since 2022 and I'll see you then. Goodbye.